Hello everyone, welcome back. So this time we're talking about specific heats. Okay, now what are they? Well, first off, know there's two of them. And there's a specific heat at constant volume, which we call CV, and specific heat at constant pressure, which is um, symbolized by CP. And just use those as acronyms. So if you see CV, it's for constant volume, CP for constant pressure. Now what is it? Well, it's the energy that it takes to raise the temperature of a unit mass, so one kilogram, by one degree. As my volume is maintained constant in one case, as my pressure is maintained constant in the other. Now, why do we care about this? Well, if you look at iron and water here, what you'll notice is that iron takes significantly less energy to increase the same, um, to induce the same temperature change. And I can go and I can start thinking about this from a kinetic standpoint, saying, okay, there's all these atoms, they're vibrating back and forth, water has more types of motion it can have, and um, this, this, I can do that, or I can make things simple myself and use this concept of specific, specific heat, which simply says each material takes a certain amount of energy to change its temperature by a certain amount. And those are gonna be different, and we can actually tabulate those and make our lives easier. Now, how is this calculated? Well, People would take a unit mass of a substance, they would change the temperature by one degree by adding energy, and they would see how much energy they had to add to figure out what the specific heat was. As a note, that is, does actually change with temperature too, but a lot of times we're just gonna say it's constant to make things easier on ourselves. Now I said it was a constant volume and constant pressure. So one was CV, the other one is CP. So I've got these two cases. One, you can see it's a closed container, it can't move, can't change, so its volume has remained constant, its pressure can change. In this case, the volume can change, but the pressure is constant because I have that same weight on top of it the entire time. And what you'll notice is that here, the energy it takes to increase the temperature is different for both of them. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. One, you can think about that when it's the specific heat at constant pressure, it is having to lift that pressure or lift that weight the entire time. And so some of the energy is being lost as it expands. You can, you can think about it that way. It's not super important for us, just remember that the value for your specific heat is different when you're in a constant volume situation versus a constant pressure situation. And you didn't know which one you're using because I will give you processes. It might be something like this. So here's a PV diagram. And in one case, I have a straight line up and down. That's constant volume. Straight line over, that's constant pressure. Down again, constant volume over constant pressure. So for this process, I'll use CP. For this process, I would use CV if I'm trying to find the change in energy between those two states. So specific heat, it's always gonna come back to my change energy trying to figure that out. Okay, now here's some equations for you. So if I have a fixed mass and a constant volume process, then I know that my change in energy is gonna be simply equal to my change in internal energy. And so if that's the case, then I know that my you know, energy change, which is gonna be my specific heat at constant volume times my change in temperature, will be equal to that change in internal energy. And I get this nice equation right here. As a note, this one is good for every single process. It works every single time if it's at constant volume. That the specific heat at constant volume is equal to the derivative, partial derivative of my internal energy with temperature. But the way we really do it is we say, okay, I can find my change in internal energy by one of two ways. One, I can integrate. As a note, we never integrate. This just means table. If we're gonna go to the tables, we have to do this. Or if it's constant, it can simply be equal to CV delta T. So if I have constant specific heats, it's a nice little equation. If it's not constant, I go to the tables. Okay, now if I have a constant pressure process, it's very, very similar. I'm finding out that my constant pressure process is equal to my chain, um, change in internal energy again with temperature. But in this case, because of how it does it, um, that internal energy will actually be equal to my enthalpy because I have to get, keep the flow work in there as well. And once again, if I would have to integrate because my specific heat is a function of temperature and it's not constant, I would just go to tables. What tables? The ones you've been going to a lot so far. And if it was constant, then it would just be equal to CP delta T. So look here and see that CV, my um, specific heat constant volume, is related to changes in internal energy, while CP is related to 
enthalpy. And here you go. And oh, there's a typo there. That was supposed to be an H. I thought it was. There you go. Now you see it is an H. <laughs> okay, well, I'll fix that for later. And our next thing is an example. So we'll stop here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.